Uh, welcome back to Drupal 7 tutorial how to create your website uh, this is the final part of creating the youtubejunkie.com uh, website and in this part we'll do some cosmetic changes you know to add this final touch to the website and we will add the social networks uh, buttons so for the Facebook Google Plus and Twitter and also we will add some a uh, nice cloud of tags so the user can actually choose a tag to see all the entries uh, associated with it okay so uh, we will start with actually installing the modules uh, that take care of the social network buttons I have those modules prepared okay so let's start with tweet button the Facebook button and there is also some Google uh, Google plus one there it is okay I will I will enable those right this is very good and okay uh, I have added it but I know that I have to uh, set the permissions uh, for these to be used so let's start with Facebook uh, there you go if uh, I want all people to have access to the Facebook like also for, uh, I want everybody to have access to the Google Plus and the same goes for Twitter Twitter everybody can access Twitter button okay this is good now I will go through the configuration options that I have so I go to dynamic like button settings I want it to be attached only to this new content type that we have uh, created uh, recently and yeah I want it to have a different size so like this and uh, uh, layout will be standard but I, I don't want to show faces okay and the weight is okay so this this one is okay let's look at this static like button I don't want to show faces this is a uh, there by default I will not be changing it uh, because uh, for case of this tutorial there is no need okay okay let's look at uh, what is next uh, tweet button settings so I want it to be horizontal and this is actually all I want uh, let's see at the tweet button node settings again I want it to be assigned only to our new content type I want it to be for both uh, uh, view modes so the full view and teaser and I will change the weight for the sake of my uh, theme because I have already handled the look of these social network buttons so I have to set the weights uh, precisely for them to look relatively good so Google Plus the same story and in that case the weight will be uh, 49 and yeah I have I want it to be medium and I want it to be floating left and this is all this is all so I think this is all so far to have entries at the for the teasers let's see no well there is no Facebook button I think I missed one setting. Uh, let me 
Uh, I okay, I think I want it here. Okay, so take a look. Okay, yeah, this is more or less the look I want, so you may share any of these entries for your social networks, which, which I think is cool. Okay, so two more things to be done. I want to add the social network Facebook box right here and also some buttons here. So let's add the Facebook box first and in the right column. So this will be a pure HTML so I have to open the page template and there I, I have yes this is where I want to put it in the right column so I I have the HTML ready I will just put it here put it on the server re clear the cache and I think it should be fine Yep, there you go. So this is very simple. This is this actually is the standard. Uh, this iframe is the standard uh, HTML that is generated by the Facebook. So you can generate it on your Facebook. There is such option, and the rest of this are simply the uh, div layers that uh, allowed me to you know make it look the way I want using the CSS uh, classes. So we have the box. I also want to put some uh, uh, social networks buttons right here. It is also pure HTML because I have here a region just for that. And also here I'll put the HTML for this. Okay, so there you go. Let's copy it. Let's clear it. Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. So it's uh, it's looking good. Okay. Uh, so the final touch to our page. I want to add this. Uh, text cloud. I like the look of it and uh, I want it simply. So uh, for this I have to install uh, two modules. I have to install the tagadelic. Okay. And I have to install the cumulus. alright so let's enable these two great and actually for the cumulus to work properly I have to copy their one file so I have to copy to, co to modules cumulus uh, what there was this Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, okay, here it is. Right, so now that I have it, uh, there should actually be one. Uh, when I when I go to structure and blocks, there should be actually one option called add cumulus block. Right, and yeah, I I would call it tags. And there, there, are, there is a vari variety of uh, settings you can uh, specify for your for your cloud. So let's take a look at uh, at those settings. I want to have maximum 60, and I, the size for in my case is a bit uh, bigger. 
so I want the background to be transparent and this I guess I want it to be gray okay this is okay but the highlight I want it to have a bit different color okay so what else I want the font size to be bigger and I want it to be in my side by first area okay so I think this is all I'll just take a look at the uh, final settings and let's see if we can actually see it oh, okay I forgot there there's this problem with Camelos uh, which actually is displayed uh, is uh, I had the explanation for it somewhere okay that you have to do a change in the, the tagadelic module uh, so I actually have this change already done so let's put the updated tagadelic module file and see if it helps okay perfect uh, one more f oh, okay because there is this view so I, I want to get rid of this header here because there is too big margin so let's get to this tags block and I will simply in the block title type known and that should do it but right now we don't see actually many uh, elements here because uh, you know we have just a few uh, entries but uh, when when the amount of entries grows you know it will also be quite more items here so when you click on the tag it will actually list you all the entries that are associated with such tag which is kinda nice I think it looks good it's also quite well and it's an overall nice idea so guys this is the end of this tutorial so we went through eight parts during each we were actually talking about different things and we started with nothing and we actually ended up with fully functional site that actually you can say has some purpose and some idea behind it and so we started with clean Drupal we did the theme we installed some modules we created new content types we worked with views we worked with uh, those social network uh, buttons uh, we did some uh, things with design and we ended up with with a page that in my opinion doesn't look so bad and it surely has some functionality and so if there are some things in it if there is some visitor and uh, he or she can spend uh, good time watching through videos that some other people found uh, interesting so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the whole tutorial and it that it uh, brought some elements that you didn't know about and uh, that you in any way uh, you know enjoyed it or found it interesting so thanks a lot for watching uh, I hope I'll, I think I will create some other Drupal tutorials in some time so thanks guys again and uh, See you around.